So, what's going on, dreamers, and welcome back to uh, AFK Journey. So, we got this rank up, uh, rate up or something. I don't know. But uh, it's uh, Soren. So, I wanted to start with this because, you know, group, I guess. See how it goes if it does give it to me or not. I'm one one card short of trying to get him. Okay. It's for her. I technically already have her. Uh, I guess a uh, an S level hero. Only fifty eight more to go. Okay. Give it a shot, I guess. I don't usually start with wishing, but you know. Wow. Nobody really knew. Okay. Three. I got three of those cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Collect. I don't even know if they have uh, codes, I'll have to look at it uh, after I play this, but you know, whatever. For that. Okay. Limited bundle. Whee! Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Oh, another 10. Oh, if only I... Mm. Okay, well, whatever. Um, uh, Radiant Stars. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. How long is till this one's over? I don't even know. I probably didn't say seven days to flip a card. Okay. I don't even know if there is a, a time limit for this. Oh, there's no limit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> that would be annoying if there was. Okay. Ah, oh, I guess. Anyways. Go into the cards section. Thirty four days. Play them all. Hey, I'm at level two now. Cool. Money, 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 money. Let's get out of that. Uh, house. What's at my house? I don't know. We have mail. I got mail. Gonna read them all. Thank you. Can I get rid of them now? I have no idea. But I'm gonna get rid of them now. Anyways, I don't care. This one I can get rid of too, because, you know, I already did it. I don't know why I didn't get rid of it, but whatever. Mystic Collection. What's going on in the Mystic Collection? Not much. Okay. Okay. Tavern. 
Okay, let's go to the tavern. Try and do it. Skip. I don't care. All except for the one. Okay. All right. Off to the uh, team building here. Oh, good day, boy. I'll, I'll send you. Shield for others, armor for myself. Let's get started. For the light bed. Nice. Lucas. Yep. All right. So now all I got to do is upgrade my team. That's pretty much it. Don't worry. My flames will never hurt you. My flame burns even more beautifully now. <laughs> cool. Okay, now I'm 70. Okay. The color and both technique you desire. Inventory, shipment, deliveries. Am I missing anything? Okay, so oh, I only yes. got 170. It's for my customers. That's great. Cool. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a lot of stuff. Everybody wants something now. Great. Both techniques and tactics are indispensable. Optimal training results. Mm -hmm. And 70. Cool. You desire an audience. Being a noble. Of course I do. Oh, good morning. Yeah, it is a good morning. Better warrior. Equipment, yep. Gotta upgrade my equipment. Switch it to you. Confirm. Great. Let's bar and see who's the better warrior. Keep training to keep growing. One. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Eight. Oh, she can ascend higher now, huh? Uh, I'll wait on that. But for now, oh, yeah, I'll wait on that. Maybe another time. Maybe uh, later. Uh, quests. Do I have any quests? Complete. Yep. Got one. This one. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. 
Flynn's. I know I got Flynn's. Where are my Flynn's? I'll accept it. I don't care. Uh -huh. I'll just do it anyways, just to get somebody on my friend list. My notice. Hmm. This again, huh? Interesting. And this one too, as well. Yep. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm all set. I am all set. I know I've been delaying. Okay, challenge now. Don't care to. Uh. Go here. Into the cave I go. The west and the east, huh? God. But it's not a decoration. It's a family crest. Weird. Yes, and it's the crest of our cocky friend, Lord France. Cool. There's only one option, so I don't really need to uh, Lord do anything. Used to settle their accounts. What are they doing here? Did the bandits rob Lord Franz? Are all of these stolen? No, if any of his gold was stolen. Lord Franz would be knocking on the doors of the Heroic Order and asking Valen and the other knights to catch these bandits. Yeah, I guess that's true. I think yeah. I've got it. Quite the, the opposite. didn't steal the money. Lord Franz must be paying them to leave Southville alone. No uh -huh. way! If that's true... Then the bandits are being paid by Lord Franz! Wait! You don't think he ordered the attack on Northville? That's gotta be it. Probably. He ordered the bandits to leave Southville alone and attack Northville because they weren't giving in to his demands. That's uh -huh. why we seldom received reports from Southville. However, this is all still speculation. It's a big cave. Let's keep looking for more clues. Okay. All right, off to the west side. That was the east side, apparently. Get rid of him. Grab this. Magister, a Grugland mask. <gasps> oh, Lots really? of Grugland masks. The oh my God! To be coming from over there. Hmm. Even though they smell like they haven't been washed for a decade, some of the masks have very fine patterns and feel quite well made. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a shame some of them are damaged, or they'd have fetched a good price. Yeah, because <laughs> that's what the thing is. Don't be so surprised. Some collectors or researchers like these kinds of things, but you won't get much for damaged ones. But I've got a strange feeling. True. You know that those bandits like to bully the weak, but they wouldn't have provoked the Gruglins for no reason. They're no pushovers, after all. 
Although it's hard to communicate <laughs> with the Gruglins, there are loads of them. And each one is as strong as an ox. But look oh. at these masks. They can't all be hand wrapped gifts from the Gruglins, right? No, of course Mr. not. Mr. didn't you say that? Despite so many Gruglin camps nearby, there were very few reported attacks in Southville? Could Lord France have paid the bandits to deal with the local Gruglins and keep Southville undisturbed? That's it, Tammy. That's the only possible explanation. Hiring mercenaries requires a contract, but by hiring bandits, Lord France could deny all accountability and even accuse them of stealing his property. It's oh my god. Genius. If that's really what he was up to, I might have to change my opinion of him. Because, <laughs> yeah, reasons. What happened? Game. I think the game throws on me. It's fine. Oh, I think it's trying to come back. Okay, never mind. We're back. Never mind. I'll cut that part out. Don't worry about it. Okay, I get it. Okay. Yay! Oh, got it. Yeah, I still gotta charge these things. I haven't been able to yet. All right. Uh, leave the cave. Heck yeah. I'm gonna leave the cave now. Glad I can do that. Mm -hmm. I guess talk, whatever. That one. What a coincidence running into you here, Rowan. How's your business venture going? <laughs> Rowan. Not great. The Southville villagers won't talk to an outsider about the Gemvine grapes. I've uh -huh. got to think of something else. When I was looking around, I discovered that the Gruglins and Bandits are no fewer than in Northville. It's strange uh -huh. that Southville still managed to ensure their harvest. Even when surrounded by so many enemies. That is a, a puzzle. It might stink in there, but it's not dangerous. Lord France and the bandits may have colluded, but our discoveries have not amounted to any conclusive evidence. Of course not. No wonder the steward of Lord France's manor assured me of everything. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed that if I were to acquire gemvine grapes from Lord France, the trade route would be undeterred by incidents such as the bridge malfunctioning or miraculous fires. Speaking of which, you all probably know that the wheat yields in Northville have declined due to the cold weather. However, oh, no. grapes tolerate the cold even worse than wheat. So surely the gemvine grapes would be affected. I asked Lord Franz's steward about it, but he just told me not to worry because there would soon be enough fertile land for a better harvest. Uh -huh. Perhaps Lord Franz started the fire in order to purchase the wheat fields in Northville at a cheaper price. I see. Of course. Do you know why I wanted to come <laughs> explore this cave? Because of the bandits. Actually, the heroic order did receive a report from Southville a long time ago. Uh -huh. A villager mysteriously disappeared. Everyone assumed he'd been killed by wolves or gruglins. But our investigation showed that he happened to be the one person who was most opposed to Lord Franz planting grapes in Southville. After oh, he disappeared, no. Lord Franz's grape venture developed quickly. He made a lot of money, and gradually all opposition in the village vanished. As far as I'm concerned, Lord Franz had something to do with the fire in Northville. We still need to find definitive proof. Of course he proof. did. About that. I've arranged to meet Lord Franz later near the vineyard in Southfield to discuss our future business venture. Mm -hmm. As I said before, I just want to open up new trade routes and acquire profitable goods. That's all. Okay. So with us, it can't be a negotiation or even altruism, but... 
cooperation. Yet. Yes, a mutually beneficial cooperation. Okay. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. I defeated 10 enemies. Good. Did something good there. Alright. Uh, is it grip steel? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love this, uh. Gotta this love this, uh. Beautiful field is the work of Archmage Merlin. She once cast a protective spell here, so our crops thrived. So, this place is under Merlin's protection? Cold. Dark. Oh. This place doesn't Empty. feel right. This can't be Merlin's magic. And you are? I'm Cassidy, a simple mage. Help! Someone help me! These grooblins are. Uh oh. Crazy. Okay. Problem. Problem, problem, problem. Fight time. Or whatever. It shouldn't be that difficult. They run, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Probably. Come an enemy. Good defense and offense. Cool. Shine star. Uh -huh. That was easy. The constellations guide us to victory. Cool. I did it. Excuse me a second. Open this chest. Okay. Back here. Do the whole tucky thing. Tucky, tucky, tuck. Let's unveil the Thank secret. Goodness. If you hadn't saved me, I'd already be digesting in their bellies. Let me introduce myself. My name mm -hmm. is Lawson. Okay. Hang on, Lawson. Are you saying they were about to eat you? Absolutely. They were even sharpening their knives. Oh, Brooklyn's are carnivores. Their diet only consists of herbivores smaller than themselves. You clearly only fit one of their criteria, Lorson. Hmm, there has to be a reason for their abnormal behavior. Mm -hmm. How about we show some concern for the innocent little rabbit here? After such a long uh. journey, I haven't even had a drink. Hang on, look at all the grapes here. A few of these would do. Hold it right there! Mm, mm. Oh, they're so sweet! These are amazing! Oh, something's not right! My stomach! It hurts! Oh, it's bad! Help me! <laughs> okay. Larson falls to the ground, clutching his, clutching his stomach. Everyone quickly runs over to help him. Yep. Is he still alive? Oh, you tell me. Is this poor bunny gonna live? <laughs> He's in fair condition, but most likely some type of poison. Initial symptom was fainting. His complexion is presently rosy. Mm -hmm. Such a quick reaction. I wouldn't you sure it's say not poison. 
Unconfirmed. Could be related to your constitution. This requires further study. We need to investigate this more closely. Please, sir. Okay. Could you give us a bunch as a research specimen? Not a chance. Lord Franz, why don't you eat a bunch right here and prove it's okay? Ridiculous. I'm under no obligation to prove anything to you. Hmm. Lord Franz, I swear it's just for research. Once we have the results, I'll make a special mention of you in my thesis. Someone, get these gibbering lunatics out of my sight. Okay, okay. Nah, that's a problem. Not gonna go well for him, but you know. Wow. Yeah, I bet there are consequences. <laughs> That's your big problem. Wow, five runs. That's crazy. Fly, my beautiful flame. Okay, got it. <sighs> Don't try to escape. Strange. Something's not right. Yeah. Ah, young see Master that. Rowan. I'm sorry for letting these louts disturb you. I'll make them pay. I'm not talking about them. I think these people from Southville. I've seen them somewhere before. How could that be? Well, I'm sure you're just a little confused because you were scared. Well, you sure. uncivilized rabble. You will pay for this. Everyone, please come here. Abra? Kedabra? Oh my god! Teleportation circle. Oh, cool. <laughs> you can teleport. There's, there we are. How are you all? F fine. Uh, just dizzy. And. Uh... <laughs> Not used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. If it's only vomit, then it's fine. Only vomit? And it's fine? Hmm. Lady Mage, are you saying you've seen worse? Actually, teleportation magic isn't my strong suit. It needs precise positioning, but I don't really know my way around here, so sometimes... There may be small errors. Oh. <laughs> um, if I may be so bold, these small errors you mentioned don't include death or decapitation, do they? Oh, nothing that serious. Yeah. I've repeatedly verified that at most a limb or an internal organ may be lost, but it's all easily fixed if promptly dealt with. Please tell us about <laughs> this sort of thing in advance next time. Hopefully there won't be a next time. Magister, I bet you know just the thing to treat the side effects of teleportation magic, don't you? Uh... Okay, let me prepare some food. Everyone just relax and rest. You'll feel better in no time. Okay. Magister, I just remembered that there are lots of herbs nearby. They can be made into medicine. That can make everyone feel better. I know that as long as you're with us, everything will be all right. Sure. As long as you're with me. <laughs> uh, what next? Oh, gather herbs. Right, okay.
Here we go, everyone. A freshly brewed magical potion courtesy of the Magister. Drink up. Oh, my God. Cured. Oh, that's awful. My tongue is numb for some reason. But even so, my head does feel a lot clearer. Miss RJ <laughs> above, I think I can actually make it back to the dark forest. Oh my god. This is the first time I've ever encountered this kind of potion. You truly are amazing, Magister. There are so many formulas, recipes, and spells to learn out here in the world. I knew it was the right decision to leave the Lyceum and follow in the footsteps of the great Merlin. You're following in Merlin's footsteps, you say? Miss Cassidy, did you by any chance come to Ryhev just to study Merlin's ward? That is correct, Hammy. I've been researching Merlin's spells and methods for some time now. Oh. I heard that Merlin once created a ward so powerful that she was able to make Ryham, which was once barren, into a bountiful haven for its people. I came here with the express purpose of locating and studying this magical ward. Her magic can only be described as a work of art. Every spell is meticulous, seamless, and perfect in every way. Yes, yes, yes. I totally agree. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad to meet a familiar with such discerning taste, Hammy. <laughs> you as well, Magister. As a scholarly mage yourself, surely you must understand my enthusiasm. I see. Oh, uh, okay. And I suppose there are those who refuse to acknowledge the greatness of Merlin. Oh. Mages who are indifferent to her extraordinary achievements. I simply have nothing to say to them. <laughs> oh, apologies. Did I come off as too excited just now? It's just that Merlin has always been my guiding star since I started studying magic. A mentor yeah, whom I've never met. I understand case, that. I'm certain that my understanding of magic will reach even greater heights once I get the chance to analyze her ward. However, right. there's something strange about the magic in the land surrounding Southville. Something really discomforting. Yo. Merlin's magic usually feels so warm and pure. It's nothing like the magic in these parts. Which is why I've decided to head north and investigate. It was nice meeting you all today. I must be leaving now, but I hope we will meet again someday. <laughs> Should we Probably. also go north and look around? We were all in a hurry earlier because of the fire. We might have missed something. Wait, everyone! Wait for me! Oh. I just remembered something. I recognize some of those thugs that Lord Franz hired. On the day of the fire, they claimed to be Northville villagers. They refused to do business with me and even gloated when the fire broke out. Oh. Are you planning to go back to Northville and investigate? Please bring me along. I want to get to the bottom of this too. Yeah, I bet you do. Okay. Cool. I got more, more stuff. Okay. I wish I knew what the time was, because I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. Might as well do this again. Get everybody don't sorted. My, flames, my flame burns even more beautifully now. <laughs> oh. The star sparkle ever more brilliantly. I'm gonna go up to 80. Desire an audience. Being a noble is always being on top. Both techniques and tactics are indispensable. Optimal training. Levels. Okay. Oof. Not a lot from this one. 
Let's bar and see who's the better warrior. Okay, I don't have enough for that one. Let's see. about the guide. Uh, what else can we do? Let's continue the story. I don't care. Um, hailstone. Hailstone. At that moment... Oh, who is it now? Female. Ruglins are even more erratic than usual. Yep, it's another female. Of course it is. Can graves be the reason? She's a good shot. What kind of graves can send these creatures into such a frenzy? <laughs> Timing's a little off, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's so old. This is a hibernate. <laughs> I'm convinced the change in weather caused the Southville grape yields to plummet. So Lord Franz wanted to seize land in Northville. I've tried those grapes, and they're really not very good. Who would buy them? From my understanding, most of these grapes are purchased by the Adamant Syndicate. Oh. Adamant Syndicate, huh? Adamant Syndicate, mm. yes. I heard about them in the capital. A merchant guild that grew quite powerful recently. Yes, of course. the Adamant Syndicate is a famous merchant guild in Asperia. They've been looking to surpass us and establish a monopoly. Oh. In the past, the Mithril Consortium hardly took notice of them. But now, they're almost on even footing with us. It pains me to say it, but I must admit that they are extremely talented when it comes to doing business. Of course they would I, be. I, however, have no interest in these grapes, as only the nobility can afford them. I only care about the wheat production in Northville. Mm -hmm. When the wheat is ground into flour and baked into bread, its deliciousness has the potential to reach every single home in Asperia. Oh my god. And with the weather growing colder by the day, there's no telling what will become of Ryham. It's possible that this year's harvest, however poor, was the final gift these lands had to offer. Okay. No way! We're gonna put a stop to this crazy weather and bring the warmth back to Ryham. <laughs> That's right! And we'll start by finding the real culprit. Chippy won't forgive anyone who burns down the fields that Magister Merlin worked so hard to protect. Man. You two are awfully spirited today. Yeah. We heard what the furballs had to say. What do you think? <laughs> the furballs. Hey, you could show a little more concern. After all, you <laughs> went to the trouble of protecting this place before. Relax. Forget I said anything. <laughs> sure. We'll just forget about it like it never happened. All right. Um, I don't know exactly where I am in my time, but I'm just going to stop here for now. I don't know. Wish you would tell me. But, uh... Let's just keep going. I don't care. Uh... Okay. Here. Shoot behind fire. Okay. Can you youngsters be a little more low key? 
I wish I could. I remember your faces. You were there when we were putting out the fires. You're back here to investigate what happened, right? Sure. Uh, this one. Oh, she doesn't have it. Okay. Hank is the only fisherman around these parts. He's oh, got no he interest in farming, so he spends his days fishing. If you want to talk to him, keep heading north along the river, and you'll find him up at the lake. Okay. Oh, poor Hank's been really worried lately, ever since this cold weather froze the lake over. I don't know the details. You'll have to ask Hank. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. All right. Um, Frank is not that far away. I'm just going to do one few little bits here. It Said the next day has passed. We'll have nothing. Oh my god. Okay. What else? Oh, this. Collect. This, right. All right. Okay. I believe that's enough for today. Probably. I didn't really do too much. Just continue the story pretty much. And upgrade my people. That's pretty much all I can really do right now. So don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so we can reach 35 subscribers. So... On that note, bye.